Hi everyone, welcome to Prep Fusion. So, roughly around 80 to 90 days are left for GD examination, and uh, panic situation is there. Bottom line is, people uh, have started uh, panicking that examination are nearing, what will happen, this thing will happen, that thing will happen. And suddenly, you would have started noticing one thing that, sir, I was studying from a particular educator. Previously, I used to find that I am able to understand everything, but suddenly, sir, something is happening that I am not able to understand anything. Right? So I am not even able to understand the lecture, whatever the lecture that I am currently studying from, I am not able to understand that particular lecture. This might have started happening with you, right? So what do you think? Your educator suddenly is not teaching well? No. What is happening is that you are into the panic situation. You are not having patience. You want to learn a lot of things in a quicker manner. You are running behind completing the syllabus. Like a lot of things are going into your brain. That I need to do this thing, that thing, I will do this thing, that particular thing I will do. And in that manner, your efficiency is absolutely going down. So that's why only I am making this video. Okay. Only target of this video is to tell you have patience. Time is not enough. This line is absolutely wrong. Time is enough. Okay. You are having enough time. Whatever the hard work that you have put from last two months, three months, four months or five months or some are preparing for last seven to eight months as well. So whatever the hard work that you have put that will surely be reflected in your final examination. Even if you are somewhere in between your syllabus, don't worry about that. You have good enough time to complete the syllabus. Till like a EC examination would be mostly on 14th Feb or 15th Feb. So EC electrical guys can cover their syllabus till 15th of January. Don't worry about that. Okay. Before one month examination, you can surely study. But <clears throat> two to three days back as well, I made a video that Syllabus completion is a certain task. Along with that, revision is also a certain task, right? So if you keep on revising the previous subjects, then you can keep on learning new subjects till 15th of January. Don't worry about that. Okay. But along with that, you need to revise the previous subjects as well. So don't run behind completing the syllabus and uh, lose your patience because what you are doing as of now, you are watching the lectures on 2x and uh, you are not able to understand anything as of now. You are in the panic situation. You will feel that, sir, I will cover this part, that part and in that particular thing you are messing it up completely. You are not even revising anything. You don't feel like uh, studying at all and in the end you will feel like that so I need to give up. Okay. But a lot of guys would be giving up in this particular time. You should not be that particular guy. Whoever is giving up in this particular time after the gate examination he will say only one thing. Sir, if I had studied in those last three months I would have done pretty well. I should not have given up. Like from N number of students I hear this line. That's all. If I had studied in those last three months where I gave up, if I had studied good enough, I would have done much, much well in this particular examination. Like a lot of students would say this thing. Do you want to fall in that same category? No. Okay. Go till then. Like it's like a test cricket match. Okay. You need to have some patience. Even if it is the last session, it is the last session. It is day five and the third session. Third session of day five, you are playing in the fourth inning. The situation has become tougher, but if you have the patience, you will be able to win the game or at least draw the game. Or even if you are losing, then people will say that you fought really well because you are in the fifth day, third session and you are still defending it. But if you only play 10 balls and you don't even defend, you play a blind shot okay, and throw your wicket, then people will say that you simply lost the game. Okay, so three results are possible. Either you lose this attempt, you win this attempt or you do decent enough. But the one who plays till the end, he will be appreciated. Even if you lose it, you will still be appreciated and you will have good enough confidence to do well in the next attempt. But if you play, if you play a blind shot and you get and you just throw your wicket, then they will not be appreciating you. Right. So you need to have some patience just to study in the same manner. 50 hours of time for revision, 50 hours of time for the completed subject. Whatever the subject that I have completed, 50% of the time you will be giving to that particular portion and 50% of the time to the revision. And now if I'm completing a new subjects, I will watch those particular subject with patience only. It's not that sir, I will watch on 2x or 2.5x sir, I just need to complete it. No. If my frequency matches at 1.5x, I will watch at 1.5x. If my frequency matches at 1.75x, I will watch on 1.75x only. If my frequency matches on 1x as well, then I will watch on 1x only. So wherever your frequency is matching, you need to study, you need to watch the lectures in the same manner only. So don't rush into your preparation now. This, this is what I am saying. 
you should increase your studying hours but should you should not be rushing in watching the lecture you should not be rushing in learning the concepts concept learn the concept in the same manner because your brain is not becoming hyperactive as of now right it's not that sir i am hyperactive now and whatever the things that i used to study in 2 hours now i can study the same thing in 1 hour as well no this is not happening your brain is at the same level only previously it required 2 hours now as well it is requiring 2 hours only but needlessly you are pushing things into your brain and you are not getting anything productive out of it so have patience and believe me time is there okay time is there you will be able to complete the syllabus even if some topics are left don't worry your whole question paper is not going to be set up from those topics only two questions can come two questions can come from those topics three questions can come but you will be having more than 95% of the question paper from the other topics right so have the patience keep on preparing in the same manner that you were previously preparing just try increasing the studying hours previously i was preparing for 6 to 7 hours now i will increase it to 8 to 9 hours okay i will push myself and uh, don't compromise with your sleep in uh, like this is the winter time so you might feel like sleeping for 7 to 8 hours sleep for 7 to 8 hours okay your body should be active whenever my eyes are open i should be active enough this is what i said to all the students like people will be saying that sir this is the final time of uh, gate preparation so i i should be sleeping for 6 to 7 hours only or sir i should uh, study uh, i should sleep for 5 hours only sir i should <coughs> reduce my sleeping hours absolutely not okay no one needs to reduce their sleeping hours even a U upsc aspirant doesn't need to reduce their sleeping hours i don't know why a lot of motivator educator would say that you need to sleep this much of hour that much of hour you need to sleep as much as you want that's it after 6 hours of sleep if you feel productive sleep for 6 hours after 8 hours of sleep if you feel productive sleep for 8 hours if you feel productive after 9 hours of sleep then sleep for 9 hours there is no issue even if i am sleeping for 9 hours i am having 15 hours left right yeah 15 hours i am having in the day even if i am sleeping for 9 hours 3 hours i can give to different activities still i am having 12 hours in those 12 hours if i am able to utilize 10 hours of effective study then what else is left 10 hours of effective study only 0.1% of the students are doing okay 10 hours effectively 0.1% is also a very hard, a huge number hardly in india who are preparing for gate examination hardly 500 students not even 500 500 is also a very large number hardly 100 students are studying for 10 hours effectively in a day hardly 100 students so do you really think that you need to give up on the sleep no giving up on the sleep is not a good way it is not a good way of preparing okay so if anyone is saying that you need to give up your sleep uh, you need to give up this thing that thing nothing okay sleep as much as you want you can reduce your scrolling real hour right if you are scroll scrolling real for one to two hours then reduce this time put your mobile aside these things you can do right so have patience keep on preparing in good manner right so this is what i wanted to deliver in this particular video i hope from now onwards if you are in the panic situation you will tell to yourself that calm down and i will surely do well in the gate examination it's just that i will divide my i will divide my day in a good manner now and if i was watching lectures in a rough way in a, a very fast mode then i will reduce that particular thing and i will start watching the lecture in more efficient way and in more efficient way only i will be revising the things in that manner i will be preparing for my gate examination okay then yeah thank you very much happy time